Hey, what did I tell y'all about Boosie, man? We do not buy his music no more. It's not smart to sign under Boosie. He cannot change your life as far as like being an artist. I'm not lying. 500 copies. He had all that promo, that free promo, the feds, the state police, all them California blogs, clubhouse, the south, up north, midwest. Come on, all these niggas saying free Boosie, shade room, only 500 copies. Man, Boosie, it's time to be a podcaster. It's time to just do interviews. Yeah, you keep wasting your time dropping all this music. Yeah, you independent, but 500 copies, come on, man. We know you bought about 20 of them or your crew. Man, that's why, I like, you'll be a fool to sign under Boosie. He can't change. Like, he got that nigga behind him saying, or beside him saying, man, that nigga changed my life. No, he didn't. How he changed your life when we don't know you? He didn't change your life? How? Because Why? Because you're around other celebrities? See? <laughs> That's what he did to that female, Nina. Nina Loretta, something like that. Yeah, out of Dallas doing her thing, Nina. Yeah, she was with him about four or five years, three, about three or four years. Man, all that nigga did was bring him around, or bring her around 2 chains and T.I. and Trouble and rappers like that. Like, yeah, he'll put you in the room, but he blackballed on the low. Niggas don't really fuck with him like that. They'll shake his hand. Nigga, you a real nigga. They'll go up to his ear. Boy, I appreciate that shit you said, boy. <laughs> but that shit you said about Jada and, and, and goddamn Gabriel Union and Lil Nas X, boy, hey. Nigga, I salute you. I felt all that shit. Nigga, be fake with him. But is a nigga calling him to put him on a song? Yeah, he'll go to jail. Everybody, two chains. Everybody say free boosting and all that duck because it sells. It sound nice. It sound gangster. You keeping it in a hundred. But niggas ain't fucking with him like that, man. Nah, man, like. Niggas' handshakes ain't matching their smile. How can he change a life? They ain't hating. He had an artist right there. She said, all he did was let me meet people, but they wasn't fucking with me. I can't call them. They pick up the phone. They'll be like, oh, you sound with him? Damn, I can't even fuck with you. You hard, though. But she don't even know I can't even fuck with her. Yeah, you in the room. He got you in the room, but you came in with the wrong guy. It be like that with a lot of artists. That's why signing under an artist, is, sometimes it's better to sign under a label than an artist because a lot of artists be blackballed. Now, if you sign under... You know, money bag yo and yo god and shit like that. That's different. They ain't blackballed. They ain't blackballed. But you sign under these real street gutter ass nigga like Yak and Boosie and shit, bro. You ain't gonna get but so far. You ain't gonna get but so far. Man. Man, y'all don't know when y'all gonna learn. So he keeps saying he the number one, he the ghetto hero and he the number one street nigga and all that. Duh. That's fake talk. It sound good on his live. It sound good, but nah, ain't no way because they ain't supporting you. That's why being a street artist, hey, once you pass that level, bro, you don't need them. They ain't going to support you. They'll support you when you do crimes, when you crash out. Yeah. His calling could be being a comedian like Charleston White. Yeah, you got to try some different shit or starting a podcast like Drink Champs. But he won't do it because he's scared or he think it ain't going to work or the people ain't going to follow him. Boosie can't start no IG, his own IG, everybody go over there. Bruh, it ain't gonna happen, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work, man. So niggas be wasting their money when they spend, give Boosie 15,000 for a verse. Bruh, it ain't gonna do nothing. How come none of y'all songs never took off? We ain't heard them on the radio, nothing. Trending, nothing. When the last time Boosie got a plaque? When the time, yeah, when the last time Boosie got nominated? When the last time Boosie, he dropped a video and it was trending on YouTube? Or anybody under his label. So why would you sign under that duh? Just because he got bodies? You know what I'm saying? Or he a real street nigga, or he funny? Or you used to listen to his music when you came up? <laughs> Ain't no rapper never came in the game and say, bro, all I wanted to do was sign with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? Or be up under the Boosie. They'll say he my favorite gangster. Shit like that. Or I came up listening to him. Or I want to do it. I do a song with him, but they don't want to sign under him and do shit like that. Nah. Because once he try to sign you, he going to lowball you. Contract ain't going to be right. <laughs> You'll be bigger than him. He may get jealous because he ain't went to that phase yet. He ain't had a whole bunch of artists. You see what a young blue did? Went behind his back. They know Boosie ain't trying to. He a lie. Say he want to see you level up, bro. He wants you under him all the way. So just because he'll come out and say another thing don't mean I'm looking at the results. The results different. Nah. He want a nigga. He like young niggas to be under him and hold him down. He want to be the man. He want to feel celebrated all the time. He ain't changed since back in the gap. He wanted, That's how he did Ivy. 
Bro, he want he want to be the one, the hero. He want to be the ghetto hero. He don't want to pass that ball. Yeah, he give you some money for your birthday and shit. Yeah, he give you ten thousand here. Uh, take your shopping. Uh, buy you a whole bunch of shoes, bro. That shit cheap. And it could be a tax write off. You on this LLC, bro? Yeah, he'll buy you a whole bunch of guns. You'll stay high. You'll eat good. You'll laugh. You'll laugh like a bitch now. When have we ever seen Boosie push his artists? Nah, he pushes features. He push that, but he don't really push his artists. We ain't never really see Nina, him pushing Nina like that. And she was down with him that long. He did her wrong, man. Nah, I signed under a nigga like Sauce Walker way before Boosie, because Sauce Walker gonna be all in your videos, promoting you. You know what I'm saying? He really gonna put a lot of money behind you, turn you up, buy your jewelry. Yeah, you can learn from him. You wanna do properties, he got a whole bunch of connections. That's an independent nigga you want to sign under. A nigga like Money Man. A teacher how to make money 10 different ways. Yeah, so the money's slowing up on the music side. This nigga know how to do this, that, that. Stocks, all that shit. Nigga got connection. Nigga got nerves. That nigga no Money Man, no nerves. So, hell yeah, I sign with Money Man. Because I know I can get paid 10 different ways. Yeah. But Boosie, nah. Nigga, you'll have a criminal record before you have a hit record. You'll be wearing some charges. You'll, yeah, because... You, I'll get pulled over. He'd be like, bro, I can't go back to jail, bro. I got the anchor monitor on me, man. But wear this bitch for me, man. You can have no record or nothing. You will have a criminal record before you have a hit record or an anthem or any goddamn thing. A club record, any goddamn thing. I'm telling you, man. You can have a big ass hit record. He'll say, man, let me use that bitch for my CD, for my album. Yeah, or he'll try to jump on it and make it seem like it's his song. Or he'll put, the, you know what I'm saying? Put all the money behind it. Man, steal your song. A lot of artists, they do that. Man, like, Boosie not made for that, bro. He was made to be a boss. That's why he don't want no older niggas around him. He don't want no niggas that'll man up to him and check him. <laughs> nigga, you can't beat me up, nigga. Yeah, them young niggas, they'll look at you. They'll look up to you like, you got to buy this, he got this, he can get a nigga touch. See, a young nigga may still be scared of you a little bit because you can put fear in them, but a grown man, nigga 40, nigga 35, nigga, <laughs> Boosie can't just talk to nigga like that. No, I was thinking, you could be like, man, I beat the shit out of you. You got a fucked up leg. You're sick. Or you can't just talk to me like that. No, I was saying, like, young nigga, they'll be more loyal. <laughs> young niggas always be more loyal. Like, they ain't gonna question shit. They don't really know a lot of shit. So, bruh, that's not a crew now. It's better than sitting in Baton Rouge or sitting in uh, New Orleans or something like that. If you want them type of nigga, you dumb anyway or you ignorant because you just how you was raised. Uh, you just a stepper, got a lot of beef. Hell yeah, sign and get get up out the hood. Hell yeah, but nah, man. He ain't changed. Look at his niggas, but them niggas ain't balling. Tell them niggas to show their cribs, man. Show they car line up, man. Tell them niggas to show they car line up, man. Peso Peso got Lamborghinis, Hellcat Durangos, all type of shit. Escalades, whole bunch of jewelry. You don't know who the boss over that bitch, man. Everybody jewelry those. Rizzo Rizzo got a whole bunch of cars and jewelry. Man, Sauce Go Hagen got a whole bunch of shit. Man, you can tell who the boss with Boosie. I'm just saying, man, you can tell who the boss with Boosie, man. The nigga who got the big ass chain, he got four or five chains on the watch. The nigga who the loudest, yeah, he the freshest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he'll let you drive his car. He'll let you drive it. You want to take the Mustang? You want to take the, you want to ride in the, that's what he'll tell you. You want to ride in the Phantom today? You want to ride for him today? Damn. I thought you wanted to ride around with me, man. He treats shit like it's still the block. That's what real dope boys used to do with the young niggas. Man. You want to ride with me? You be his little shooter and shit. That's what he like, man. But that's his army. That's his team. It could be like that. But it's a lot of artists that's like that. You got to be careful. <laughs> they be they could be big artists and small artists. And you'll just be sitting on that label, man. I ain't lying, man. Y'all better wake up. I better pay attention. Stop being starstruck by these niggas, man. Come on, man. Nigga saying he the realest one and he everybody love him. He done raised the most niggas, but they don't support you. How the fuck? How the hell? Why you feel like that? Cause they don't do nothing to you when you move around. Come on, man. Like, but that's cap. What make you the realest nigga? What make you the, the number one nigga? Like 21 Savage say, what make you the number one nigga? Cause you the little bodies and shit? Bruh, that's the case. Come on now. That's Marlo Mike shit, man. Anybody can have that boosty story. Not anybody, but it ain't hard. It's way harder to have a future or a Tupac story or a 50 Cent story or 
one of them type of nigga story, a Jay-Z story. Boosie, all you gotta do is stay silent, have some young niggas around you, pay some niggas to get killed. I mean, uh, knock some niggas off by you paying, sit back. When the police come, don't snitch. Make good music. You boosie. You are a little boosie. It's not hard. It's way harder to be uh a real artist like Drake. It's way harder to be that, to have that story. A Lil Wayne. It's way harder to be Birdman. It's way harder to be Birdman or P. Diddy. Or Master P. It's way harder. That's not hating, bro. That's real shit, bro. All you got to do is make good music, right? Make good, heartfelt music. Have a young shooter with you. Pay niggas to get knocked off. When the police come, keep it silent. Be funny. You little boosy. You little boosy. You ain't got to really have a whole bunch of street cred before that or really know how to fight good or have a whole bunch of hip records or nah bro it ain't hard it's a lot of street niggas like Boosie so that make you the realest <laughs> or the best or the number one street guy or the number one street artist no yeah he a legend down south legend yeah everybody fuck with him he funny but he need to go in that lane being funny podcast your interviews sell way more than your albums and your mixtapes you ain't got it yet wake up nigga wake up pass the throne man Past the throne, man. You bullshit. No, we're not gonna buy or bump no new Boosie music, man. We not. We ain't gonna watch the movies. Cause every time you put one out, they be trash. <laughs> yeah, you got actors in it that we know, but it be trash. Cause be too I don't know what you do wrong, but it, the storyline will be right. Nah, man. That nigga tripping, man. Like y'all know y'all don't buy that shit, man. man y'all know y'all don't listen to this shit, man. <laughs> Come on now. This nigga keep dropping all these CDs and we ain't nobody listening to them. For what? Where you getting your drive from? But man, I ain't saying stop. But hey, man, just switch it up. Pass the throne. All that time you keep making to drop your shit, put that shit, do a uh, mixtape with your artists. Now, all these artists on the label, you ain't never do no mixtape with Nina. You ain't never do no album with Nina. Help her out. God, he did that shit all the time. Gucci, he did that shit all the time. You ain't never did that for her. Or none of your artists. Yeah, if you're a big ass artist like Mo3. But Mo3 had a. You used Mo3. Because he had the following. He had the streets in Dallas. So you used him. Of course, if a nigga like that. Of course, if T.I. call you. Because you only doing it for the money. Not because you really want to do it. You're like, how much we can make? Yeah, yeah, I need the money. That's why you don't care if T.I. told you right now you need the money. So of course you'll do that, though. Of course you'll do that, though. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, if I got to be the hater. Shit, I be the hater, man. I'm just telling y'all, man. I'm trying to say y'all niggas, man. You got to watch these artists, man. Look how they treat they niggas. These niggas bosses, not CEOs. Yo Gotti is a CEO. That's a CEO. That's a, yeah, that's who you want to sign under. Yo Gotti. If you a star, then you're going to be a star. If not, you lazy, then you're going to be lazy. But you still have that CMG. You'll be, you'll be surrounded by real niggas and superstars. So the day that you wake up, it's there. But Boosie, you can wake up, you can stay asleep, you ain't going nowhere. Now, if you want to catch bodies and rank and go to jail, catch a criminal uh, rap sheet, shit like that, sign with Boosie. Sign with Boosie. You want to laugh all the time and shit like that, just have a good time every day, not really work hard and shit like that, sign with Boosie. Yeah, you want to put in all the work for him, get him features and songs and deals and shit like that. He break y'all a little 2% or something like that. You want to live in a big pretty house, not your own house, but live in his shit. You know what I'm saying? He all the bullshit he got to go through. Sign with Boosie. You know his attitude fucked up. Yeah, he funny for us, but when he cut the camera off, that nigga yelling, cussing out everybody. That nigga ain't just the funniest nigga and the coolest nigga to be around all the time. You think that nigga ain't stressed out? Come on, man. <laughs> Nigga, these rappers couldn't get me <laughs> with this shit, man. I ain't lying. I would not sign. Because I'm already seeing like, oh, hell no. I'm seeing how you did that one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. And you'll come in as an artist on the Boosie, and you'll end up a goon. <laughs> you'll end up a stepper. You'll be riding in the back of the Escalade or some SUV, watching his back. <laughs> and he signed you for 10000 and you turn into a damn goon. I ain't love it. You're going to have more stripes than hits. Nigga, you do a show, they're going to try to pay you 2500 3500 maybe. <laughs> you like, fuck, I'm out with you, ride with you. Promoters ain't booking you. They'll book him, but he might let you open up for him and shit like that. May break you off. 
But nah, man, I'm telling you, man, it's the truth, man. Y'all don't see the results. Like, just go back in history. Man, y'all think I'm bullshit, man. Just look at the facts. Marlo Mike got nine hit records. Did he kill nine niggas? Allegedly, that's what Booster said on that black TV interview. You said my Cody killed nine motherfuckers. He said he got nine hits. Nine hits in the streets. He got more hits than Boosie. Marlo Mike got more hit records than Boosie. Boosie ain't got no nine hit records. I ain't, man. Boosie do not got no nine hit records. I'm telling you, Marlo Mike got more hits than him. You better off being a shooter on a Boosie. You better off, man. You gonna make more money. You gonna make more money. Even if he paying you 3500 per hit, 5000 You gonna make more money? Far like off making music. Now you trapping and other this shit. Yeah, but. Nah, man. Now if you cool with allowance. Cool with allowance and shit. Hey, man. That's the best place for you, man. But if you trying to think big, bitch. Think big. Nah, that ain't your home. Sorry to tell you. It's better to build your own empire. And then just do a song with them. And just keep it busy like that. Just be cool with them like that. Yeah, like how Kevin Gates did Cash Money. Yeah, see Kevin Gates, I keep telling y'all, Kevin Gates, he's a different type of guy. Going to jail and just being his own boss. He could have signed on Young Money and Cash Money. He won his own empire. Yeah, once Barry Man told Kevin Gates, nigga, you Aquarius, nigga, you gonna eat, nigga. Yeah, we gonna eat, nigga, we Aquarius. Nigga, nigga looked at Barry Man and said, nigga, I want this shit. Nigga, you definitely can get this shit, nigga. You Aquarius. You're fucking right. Now look at him now. God damn, look at you, Kevin. God damn, you're a legend. You know what I'm saying? So, he was smart. He seen the bigger picture, man. But, a lot of niggas can't beat Kevin Gates. You gotta have a, you know, work at there like a, <laughs> even more than that. You gotta have more than that, like, you gotta believe, have faith, grind hard, miss a whole bunch of summers, know how to become an artist, know how to cater to different brackets of audience, and gain them, and make them support you, come to your tours, not shows, tours. Yeah. So you can get on the radio. They're gonna fuss, and the females are gonna fuss Kevin Gates shit on the radio. Yeah, don't just stay. Don't just try to cater to the streets. Nah, they ain't gonna support you. Yeah, in the club, they'll come see you. But what's the most you gonna make? About 50,000, 60,000? <laughs> you cool with that? You like that? That's a good number. That's a high number, ain't it? Ooh, that's so good, ain't it? Yeah, I understand. But nah, man, like, just really become an artist. You know what I'm saying? That's what Kevin Gate is. That's exactly what he is. So shit, man. I'll take Wack 100 over Boosie any day. Wack 100 got them contracts. He know how to make them contracts happen. I'm fucking with him, man. He's smart. I know he is. Yeah, I'm a West Coast. I'm fucking with him. I ain't fucking with Boosie. I turn that down. Boosie could be like, I give you 50,000. Wack 100 could be like, I give you 20, but your contract this, 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 and this. I'm signing with that. I don't really need no big, 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 big bag. Nah, I fuck with Lil Baby. Lil Baby a good one. Lil Baby ain't gonna, uh, Lil Baby gonna do you right. Lil Baby, he gonna do you right. 21 Savage, that's a good one. Them niggas gonna do you right, man. Them niggas gonna do you right. So, um, cause they are, look at their artists. Young Nudie, look at Young Nudie artists. I'd rather sign on to Young Nudie any day than Boosie. Look at his artists. We seeing them. They making good music. Man. I keep looking up to the OGs if you want to, just because they got a little pass. All right, now. Nah. But shit, y'all can cuss me out in the comments. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to stand my, uh, my own business, and I'm hating on Boosie. I eat all that. I take all that. I like that. I like that dark energy. Yeah, so uh, you're yeah, just going to handle your business in the comments. That's on you. Y'all want to be fooled. I'm just letting you niggas know. Yeah, so hit that like button. Hit the share button. How y'all feel about it? You know, IG. Duh, underscore, gang, underscore, spitter. Fuck with me, share this video. Yeah, go.